Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, Carl's Kick. Sorry, we had a different kind of view. I'm doing something a little different for y'all. I'm basically going to show y'all how to use this Jason Mark Repel stuff. Now, um, for those of you who already know, um, I've been using it, and I do use Rejuvenator um, Repellent. But to be honest with you, um, I haven't been like super happy with this um, water and stain and repellent spray from them. Um, so I was talking to a guy and we were talking about the Georgetown sixes that came out. He was telling me about this Jason Mark stuff. All right. So that's what I've been using. All right. So basically with this Jason Mark stuff, right, um, you need to spray your shoe and then you need to let it completely dry slash cure for 24 hours or more. After the first coat has dried, repeat steps and apply a second coat before exposing to liquid. Make sure the shoe has completely dried. Tip. The longer you allow repel to cure, the stronger the um, repellency will be. All right. So I sprayed down these uh, Nike Dunk Low versus Air Force Ones undefeated yesterday around this time. So it's been 24 hours. And now um, I was going to spray it again. So basically, um, they say you want to get this thing even. You want to hold it 6 to um, 8 inches away from the shoe. And um, you want to spray the shoe. Now, I've only did one coat. I think I did it pretty good. Um, I'd like to see, you know, actually if it's going to work. Um, but what I will do is I'm going to spray it with the second, the second time. And if I get enough views on this video, I will show you guys if this stuff worked. Like put the water and everything like that on the shoe um so we'll see so i'm pretty far away from the shoe just gonna spray it on one side boom boom says you don't want to you know oversaturate the shoe and it basically says you know if you oversaturate it and you want to go after after you spray the shoe you want to get a towel and go over you know and take out some of the um Leftover product. I'm not doing all. I'm not doing that because I want all of the product. I want it all. Okay, so um, we're not gonna do that. All right. So that's one shoe down, six to eight inches away. Nothing too crazy, you know. Just a nice, friendly spray. I'm not even pulling all the way down on this trigger. If you do, this stuff will come out like crazy. Um, now this bottle was not expensive. I honestly, I want to say that. Uh, it's probably around the same price as the uh, rejuvenator stuff. I think I paid for this bottle like between twelve, a little more, more than twelve dollars, under twenty dollars. So let's say like, I want to say I paid like seventeen bucks um, for this stuff. And now I'm just gonna leave these to dry, and I um, yeah. So. Um, that's the Jason Mark stuff, and I only got the repel because I have a shoebox full of, um, as you guys know, I got a shoebox full of cleaning stuff from, uh, Rejuvenator, and I don't have anything against Rejuvenator, I just personally didn't like, you know, and I got another bottle of this stuff, I just didn't personally like the job it did on my Travis Scott, uh, British, British Knights, the sixes. It really didn't repel any stains. I actually got a stain on that shoe. Ended up having to clean it and it didn't come out that great. You know, once you got to clean a, a thick suede like that. Um, so, yeah. So, again, if you guys got any question about this Jason Marks repel, let me know. Um, if you guys want to see how this shoe held up, let me know. I will make a part two just for you guys. Um, and, yeah. So, I'm um, I'm hoping this stuff works pretty good. So I can use it on all of my suede shoes and stuff. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We out of here.